Hey everyone. So uh, Rizwan had a question about using a GUI and changing some of the sizes of things. And Isaiah was going to teach him. And I said, Hey, let's, let's record this. Go ahead and share it with everyone. So go ahead and say. Right. So whenever you create a GUI, right. Um, you have, as you know, like multiple types of controls and each control has what we call options. All right. Now, there are options that are common to all the controls. What are those? Well, let me see. You have the width, the height, you have the X, the Y, width, and height, right? Those are, these four right here are common to all of the controls. And there are some of them like center as well. But now you will notice that some of the options are like this, that you can put an, an X and a number, a Y and a number, a W and a number and so on. But some of the others are kind of like text, like this, whether it's centered, right aligned, whether it's a password. So basically if I run this, I can now type and you will see that it is centered and it is actually a password control, right? Now, if you want to modify that, you can say, let's have a variable for this. Now you can call the variable and you have two things that you can do. If you want to modify the text options, like whether it's centered or a password, you can do so with the options method. And that you can say minus password, right? And that, would remove the password. So if I do this, now it's not a password anymore because I'm removing that option. You see that? That line removes that type of options. But interestingly, you cannot change the width of it like this. You can't, that is not possible. If you do that, it will stay the same size as it was before. Let me have a hotkey here so that you can see how it works. And it starts with a password, it's being shown. So it is a password. Now, if I hit the F1, the password is removed, but the size didn't change. And that was Eric, uh, Rizwan's question. Like, why can't I change the size of it using the option? Because this method does not apply to the X, Y, width, and height. It never applies to that. It only applies to the text things like this. So if we go to the text control um, or the edit control here, if you go down, you will see the edit options. Anything that is inside the edit options, the limit, the lowercase, whether it's multi-line, whether it's a number or not, whether it's a password or read only, all of this can be changed with the options method. So I could make it uppercase here. That I can do. So now if I type something, whoops, I have to remove the password so you can see it. Uh -huh. But if you do that and then hit F1 and now type, it is all uppercase. You see that? So I don't have to do anything because it made it uppercase. Any of these options can be changed with the option method but not the width and height or that. How do I change that? Well, there is a different method called move. Edit.move. That is the only one that you can change the X, the Y, the width, and the height, but you cannot change the options. <laughs> you can only change those four. So now if I make the width something like 500, right? And after I do that, I have to kind of like reshow the GUI and photo size it so that it kind of like fits the new size. What you will see is that, let me just remove these guys. I'm not changing those. This will change the width only. And if I run it, I have this guy. When I press the hotkey, it will make it bigger, you see? So that's the difference. One of them changes just the options, kind of like think about them as styles because that's what they are. They change the style of the control 
and the other one changes the size of the control. This one cannot change the size. This one cannot change the style. You need them both depending on what you want to do. So hopefully that makes sense. I don't know if you have any questions on that. Uh, yeah, I have a, a question. Uh, we can use the line number 10 in everywhere in, uh, in our code. On our code, yes, you can do that for all of your controls. So you can do that for all of the controls like this. So you can do that for all of those controls. And you can also do it for the GUI control. So the GUI control, the GUI object, also has the options. You see? The GUI itself has options, and you can set these guys, whether it has a border, whether it has the caption, whether it's disabled or not, whether the DPI is going to be set or not. That's for the GUI. So some things you can do for the GUI, some things you can do for the control. But yeah, the GUI can have its own options and the controls themselves, the GUI control itself has its own options as well. That's it. Now, for each type, for example, for the hotkeys, you would have to see which options you can set for the for that type. So for the hotkey, you have the limit 15 or something like that. But you cannot do some things that you can do, for example, with the date time control. The date time control has a range, right? You cannot put a range to an edit control because the edit control doesn't take ranges. So it depends on the control. For each control, you have to see what options it has. And if you want to modify those, you can actually use the OPT or options method to change those. Hopefully and that makes sense. What I was going to say is if you were doing this in V1, like the code to me looks so much uglier in V2 right. because these are objects. It's so much easier to, it's clean first off, easier to read. However, and, and you might be interested in our, our objects, functions, and classes course, because once you understand objects, Isaiah was explaining this, how the V2 stuff works from AutoHotKey, but once you realize that those are objects, it, then you start realizing, well, some have certain methods and properties, right? And, the, and it just makes a lot more sense if it's easy to understand because that's what's available in that object on that, you know, particular thing. Right. Which is basically what's going on here. I could just say, you know what, whatever the range is, because it depends on the range. So 2024, 0101 to 2024, well, to A now, for example. Basically, what I'm doing here is, you will see, the edit control, I can make it uppercase, but I cannot make a date control uppercase. I cannot do that because the date control doesn't take that. But the date control has a range that I can put, but the edit field doesn't take a range. So it depends on which control you're working. Each of them have their own options and you would have to use the options that apply for that control. So you will have to go to the documentation and take a look at the options and see what you can do or what you cannot do, right? The other, um, we do have an intro to V2 GUIs, which is also a great right. of course. Honestly, like if you're really wanting to get into GUIs, I would consider working through our objects course first. So when you're messing with GUIs, it's just easier to understand them. Even though, again, I would, you would not get me ever to build another V1 GUI. Um, <laughs> so much easier. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you learned something, really helps us out. Have a great day. Cheers. Thank you.